The ancient Romans liked to see themselves as an eminently practical people. No nonsense, even in their piety, and the Romans were quite pious, they tended to approach it in a strictly utilitarian, almost materialistic uh, way. Um, they liked to contrast themselves with the Etruscans, the, their uh, neighbors to the immediate north. And the Etruscans were um, considered by the Romans to be uh, intuitive and um, uncanny and enigmatic. Um, and Seneca, the Roman philosopher, encapsulates the difference between the two quite uh, eloquently in the following passage. The difference between us, the Romans, and the Etruscans is the following, that whereas we believe lightning to be released as a result of the collision of clouds, they believe that clouds collide so as to release lightning. <laughs> now, I don't really see how two points of view be, can, be, can be more fundamentally uh, different. Um, the, um, the one says everything has a cause, uh, and the other one says everything has an effect. Uh, the Etruscans tended to um, err more on the side of the cause, and the Romans tended to err more on the side of an effect. The, the Etruscans tried to explain the cause, the Romans tried to explain the effect. That strikes me as an interesting example of the supposed duality um, between atheism and theism, whereas each side is attempting to say that um, the other is looking for a simplistic explanation of everything. Um, you've often heard religious people saying, well, there's just too many mysteries out there for us to actually put it all down to something so cut and dry as science. It, it, science just isn't even remotely capable of dealing with the multiplicity of things out there that are to be experienced, explained, uh, studied, whatever. Whereas the um, scientific, quote-unquote, point of view uh, tends to do the same thing with the religious saying that it's all very well, it's all nice to think that um, we can put everything down in a neat package like your holy book and explain everything away uh, by going chapter and verse, this, that, and the other, but unfortunately that's just a silly simplification. Um, isn't it interesting how each one tends to sort of accuse the other one of oversimplification? And again, it's so fundamental a difference, so fundamental a disagreement that one uh, is inclined, or at least I am inclined, to sort of try to go beyond that, to try and sort of say, why are these two points of view so seemingly uh, irreconcilable? Things have meaning because they happen, or things happen because they have meaning? It's an interesting thing to ponder when you're considering this theist versus atheist debate. Um, because uh, it forces us all to sort of rethink the most basic premises. Seneca is quite helpful in many ways. <laughs> Thank you.